that is the one last one. Uh -uh. Oh, thought they were ready. What is all that? Oh, that's from a rug. <laughs> okay. This is my last time trying this. Um, Type in my number now. Yes, I think I did that the last time. I'm sorry I interrupted you by typing in my number. Let's see. 3275 subtotal. Okay. So hopefully it was 30 before the subtotal. I mean, you said, oh, subtotal 32. So what is it after tax? Does it show you? 34.88. Okay. So now what is it? These motherfuckers just made me puke. I should have checked that fucking expiration date. I always check the expiration date. This shit damn near a fucking year old. And I tasted the difference as soon as I fucking put my mouth on it. My um, camera got full at the register, y'all, but I just deleted some apps. And I'm going right back in this shit. Is it candy bar, Oh, I feel so bad. No, you're good. I just threw up in front of y'all's store. You see how old these are? I just threw up after biting into one of one, one of these in front of y'all's store. Look at the date on those. As soon as I bit it. Yeah, and look at the year. You see that? This yeah, I just bought it while I was just in here. By the vendors, Quaker. As soon as I put my mouth on it, I just threw up. Oh my gosh. This one's not open, but the one that I bit off is right here. It's in here. The s'mores, one of them, unless I threw it on the ground. So call you guys' number first. Call the, the D and G. There's a there's a corporate number for D and G. Do you have that one by any chance? Um, um customer signature. Yeah. I'd have to go on the computer. Okay, it. don't worry about it. It's called D and G. Yeah, it's Dollar General, but they do D and G. She gave me my eleven dollars back. I paid with EBT. I wasn't expecting her to give me cash back, but they can either way. But my mouth, oh my gosh, it just, I don't want y'all to see it again because it's up here by my car door. I'll see y'all when I get home. What's up, YouTube friends, family, associates, subscribers, and members? This is going to be a quick close. I ain't even playing with y'all because I'm just, I'm over it, okay? You have to have a lot of patience with couponing. Um, I use all digital coupons on the Dollar General app. This receipt may not go with these items. It may, one may be over here. no. It should because everything's the same. Okay, yeah, I forgot I switched and made everything the same. So, my Gain um, Moonlight Breeze detergent was $5.50. That's that. The um, Gain Odor Blast beads right here, $7.50. Um, for the detergent, we had a dollar off coupon. For the um, beads, we had exclusive coupons, $3.75 off. 
um, for the Swiffer duster is five fifty right here, and we had a two dollar off coupon for that. Everything has to be game scented. If you're using that game coupon, the spend thirty get seven dollars off. So that's what that's how we do it. We get thirty dollars worth of game, and then we automatically get seven dollars off. That's before any coupons for every individual item. So just for thirty dollars worth, we get seven dollars off. So you can go in and don't use any coupons, get thirty dollars worth, get seven dollars off, and pay twenty three dollars. However, it gets even better because we have the also five off twenty five with the stores with the new systems. The five off twenty five and the seven off thirty comes off together. If it has a, um, I mean, it doesn't come off together. With the old systems, they come off together. So you'll get seven dollars off plus um, uh, five dollars off for the five off twenty five. Okay. So, seven dollars came off for the spend spend thirty on game products. Five dollars came off for having twenty five dollars worth of any products. So that's twelve dollars. Then a dollar came off for the detergent. Three seventy five came off for that. Um, two thirty came off for the Febreze. Two two dollars came off for the Swiffer. Um, the game dryer sheets. Let me see if I can find them. Um, see fireworks 450 225 came off for the small fireworks right here okay and um yep there's the febreze 230 came off if you like to see anything in particular please just pause it the gain sheets a dollar came off right there 450 okay and i got the um 105 count the original scent so my subtotal was really good five dollars and 45 cents and um oh i also got the oral b so the Oral-B gave me a dollar in overage. Three dollars came off, and it gave me a dollar in overage for the Bright and Clean Oral-B toothbrush. They're a dollar a piece, so that totals to two dollars for both of those. Then three dollars came off, making both of those free, giving me a dollar in overage. So if you don't have the Oral-B, your subtotal should be six forty-five. Okay. Um, don't know what went wrong with the second receipt. I mean, it still wasn't bad. My subtotal was $7.70. I believe, um, I see right here, my last item, the fireworks. And no coupon came off. It's just store discounts there. Wherever you see an amount, dash, and an S, that's store discounts. If you see, um, let me see, let me find, digital coupon, uh, an amount and a dash, that's the digital coupon, okay? So no coupon came off on that item, so I believe that's what happened um, on that one. So, yeah, I believe it's a great deal. Um, that's why I like to wait to Saturday to do my deals because you get extra off. Of course, you can shop during the week and um, get these same items, and you'll still be able to use the $230 off, the $250 off, $275 off, $1 off, whatever. But you just won't be able to use the 5 off 25 And you still can use the 7 off 30 gain on um, any day of the week as well. But 5 off 25 is just for Saturdays only. So why not wait to Saturday and do um, your couponing? Now, again, if your total is $5 higher, that means your store has a new system and um, the 5 off 25 is not working along with the 7 off 30 game. If you don't understand anything that I'm saying, don't know nothing about digital coupons, just go in and get the same exact items I got. Okay. Again, these, these were just filler items. I didn't need these. I threw these in because these were going to be free and give me a dollar back, which my dollar went towards something else in my cart. Okay. Um... That's how I always tell people, they they like, I don't understand how to do this. Just get the same things I got. Clip the same coupons. I always show screenshots of the coupons at the end of the video, okay? So now we're going to show you the penny items. I don't need to show y'all the other because it's the same exact thing. So um, drum roll. Yeah, baby. Here are my beautiful Pentes, darling. My Pentes, Pentes, Pentes. I got some Libby. This is from, well, you might as well say from Thanksgiving. Then they sold it for Christmas, and now Christmas is over, and these pennied about a week or two ago, I believe. Um, so if you see these Libby's pumpkin filler or whatever, just pumpkin, I don't know. Um, there's the UPC number ending in 5049. And again, newbies, the reason why we show the UPC numbers is just in case for any reason you are not able to scan in store and there's no service or whatever and you can't connect to their Wi-Fi. You can take a screenshot right here on Shy Day's video today and have these screenshots in your phone and match the UPC number up with it. Like if you see this on the shelf and you're like, ooh, I think that's a penny, but I can't get any service. I can't get on YouTube. I can't connect to their Wi-Fi to scan it. Let me go through the pictures that I took um, off of Sade's video. 
and you see your picture in in 5049, then you pull the one off the shelf, look at your picture and look at the can, 5049. Yes, I found a penny item. Yay. That's why. Okay. Um, the Clover Valley brand as well of the pumpkin. So it's the Libby's and the Clover Valley ending in 2239. And then also um, the cranberry sauce, the, the cranberry sauce, the jellied cranberry sauce. UPC number ended in 6058. The cashier gave me these candies. She said she saw these, but she wasn't going to eat them. She was just pulling. I guess she saw the Christmas things and pulled it. And it was only the one left. So she gave these to me. These are also a penny from Christmas, ending in 6152. I'm looking at the expiration date, 2024. Oh, yes, y'all better know I'm making a phone call about that. Got me puking and stuff all at the store. These are some old pennies here. These antibacterial hand sanitizer sprays. So you just know how they look. Ending in 1576. They're just like pins. So if you find any of the um, sanitizer pins, then you know you got them. This one ends in 957. All right, camera stopped again. Let me hurry up. And remember, guys, here's the receipt. If I myself or anyone else ever forget to show you the UPC number, remember it is always on the receipt, either next to the item or under the item, okay? That's the Libby's Pumpkin. Um, you see I got 33 at one cent each, so my total was 33 cents for all the Libby. And it ends in 5049. Let's get one of the Libby's and see if that UPC number matches up with what I just said. 5049. Yes. Okay. So it's always on the receipt. The Clover Valley Canned Pumpkin. I got 17 at one cent each. My total was 17 cents for all of the Clover Valley. And it ends in, what is that? 2239. 2239. All right. And then um, I got the... The candy right there and in 6152 6152 all right and the pins I don't need to show you the pins again but each one of them had a different UPC number just look for those pins so my total sale out the door out the store was 55 cents but your girl used eBay too so I paid 53 cents on my EBT card for all of the food items and then um, I paid two cent out of pocket for the non-food items, which were my um, sanitizer pens. Okay, and that was on today, February 11th, 2023. You guys make sure you wish my baby a happy birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow, February the 12th. So Lay, she will be six years old. She also has a channel. Please subscribe to her channel. That would be a nice birthday present for her. It is called Soleil, S-O-L-E-A-R-I, -E -I. Soleil space Ari. Okay. Um, I also did the game deals today, February 11th, as you can see, 2023. Y'all, thank y'all so much. Um, yes, Soleil's birthday is falling on Super Bowl Sunday. I think that's the first. Um, her dad's birthday was the first. Now her birthday is the 12th. I know y'all. some of y'all remember um, when Soleil was born and she was also in the NICU, but I think a lot of, most of you remember when Sarai was born and in the NICU because I used to go live when I was visiting her in the NICU. But, um, yeah, that's my haul, y'all. These are the pennies. It's always the ones that I don't care about that I find. The ones that I be really wanting, I find them when I'm not looking for them, even months later. I promise you. I always tell you guys this, and I always do. I always do. I might find a big-ass Santa Claus during Easter. And you're like, really? I know darn well this Santa Claus ain't sitting right here. <laughs> it's how it works. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please give the video a thumbs up. Come on, birthday girl. You too slow. If you like it, if you dislike it, hell, give it a thumbs down. If you really dislike it and dislike me and just come over here and get the good deals and don't give a damn about me and just don't don't like, comment, or say anything, <laughs> that's for you, baby. What you doing? Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> Please follow me on TikTok at Shade with the receipts. And I need some of y'all to come over there and come in the comment section and defend your girl because they are going off on me about them remodel penny shopping, honey. They don't even know me. They judging by one little clip. Time we mess up their stores, they don't know that we clean up the stores after we're done. And when we're running in there, that lasts for like a minute and everything is calm after that. And some of us even buy the cashier's lunch and the manager's lunch. Um, one time, um, some of us bought 
and I watched somebody else do this before. That's what gave me the idea. Bought them some wine or whatever drink they wanted from the liquor store because they'd be so stressed and need a break after ringing all of us up for those thousands of items they're ringing up. But people are going in over there. So I need some of y'all to go to TikTok, TikTok and defend me on those three remodel videos that I've recently posted. Please follow me on Facebook. My name is the same everywhere, Shade with the Receipts. If you would like to join the Facebook group, please make sure you answer all questions upon sending a request to join and don't bring any drama into the group. That's all we ask. And we need y'all to post more into the group. Some of y'all are real quiet. I can't be that intimidating. Y'all are quiet, but y'all be posting y'all asses off in them other groups. Yes, I see y'all. Just because y'all don't see the name Sade don't mean I ain't in these groups. I see y'all. And I be like, well, darn, this one ain't active at all in my group. They just coming over here watching. I'm going to start deleting because I think y'all are spies. Um, I have a public Facebook page. Please go like it. Thank you to the people that has come and liked the page. The people that just made a page, a Facebook account, just to come like my account and follow me. I appreciate it because these people are never on Facebook, but they just did it to support me. Um, So, yeah. We're getting ready for tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday, and Soleil's sixth birthday. So, again, last but not least, y'all, please share, share, share if you dare, honey. And I will see you guys on the next video. Toodles! Toodles. When did you start saying toodles? Peace. Peace! <laughs> so, I think that's hilarious. Toodles! I'm done with y'all. No. I am so done. Peace. Toodles.